Hi, my name is Angelica Campbell Ellis Alde, and I'm from Brandon, Manitoba. And I have my family history is um, Filipino, so a lot of my um, influence comes from them, and I'm very like inspired by them to keep on moving within my like, art. I have art pieces here at the Art Gallery of Southwestern Manitoba. Um, I'll be showing you my direct process and how I make my traditional and digital pieces of artwork. Um, in my sketchbook, I like throwing whatever into here. So a bunch of them come from school, a bunch of like projects that I've done. I usually start out with a thumbnail sketch to see where I want everything, getting the composition down. And once that is done, I slowly switch to a much larger piece of paper to get the colors down. And then I switch that to um, a digital file for, then I can like um, change the colors and like tone curves with like correction files and like correction layers and choose which colors that I like the best. Cause colors to me is very much like, I like colors, so I want good colors. <laughs> This piece is called Birth from the Red Spider Lily. I like using a lot of flower language within my artworks. So um, the Red Spider Lily is commonly known for its um, symbolism of death. And oftentimes um, when a person dies, specifically in Japan, red spider lilies are planted there to like kind of commemorate their passing. And this piece is about the body autonomy being taken away from people with uteruses. And as we see right now in the United States with the overturning of Roe v. Wade, um, it's really unfortunate that we see a lot of um, people are finding that their um, right to their bodily autonomy is being taken away. And that's like one of the biggest things as a person is your bodily autonomy. And so this is what it's about. Yeah, the hands kind of symbolize a greater power taking over that um, autonomy, and kind of ripping away that uterus. So this piece is called American Sweetie. It's an appropriation piece that I did for a printmaking class at my high school. Um, so what we were doing is getting pieces of popular media, so I chose the American Psycho movie poster. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, and I kind of like switched everything of what the opposite is of American Psycho. So I made like it American Sweetie instead of American Psycho. And I changed like the knife to like a lollipop. When I was making this piece, I was thinking about um, insurance companies, particularly in the US, price gouging a lot of people when they're um, looking for like healthcare and oftentimes people are forced to pay a, an absurd amount of money for um, to live essentially and kind of like combating with like the macho businessman beside like a lollipop kind of like gives off that like oh we're helping you but not exactly so this is my other piece called I see cities um, it's of the coke plant that's kind of on the outskirts of Brandon. And at nighttime, it kind of looks like a city from afar. And I didn't really want to capture like that city-esque thing with this painting. I wanted, wanted it to be a little bit more um, sad, mellowed down. So I went with um, the colors of like sun, dawn, dawn, sunset, yeah. <laughs> and I find that having the silhouette of the coke plant was really like sad, cause like, you thought it's a city, but it's not, it's a coke plant, woo. This piece is called Inside Camellia. Um, this is like my first time working on like a very large scale painting and I'm really happy with the outcome of that. Usually I hate traditional art, but then with this piece, it kind of let me um, enjoy it more. And 
my process in making Inside Camellia was first with um, figuring out the colors in my sketchbook. Woohoo! So originally I wanted to go for green and lav like this like lavender um, colors, but I didn't really like how it looked. So I took it over to a digital program to mess with the colors to see which colors suited the best. And I found that the orange and the blue was best to my liking. And when I'm starting out with putting the picture onto the canvas, I first do my sketch and then I do like my under values to see which is the darkest and which is the brightest value. The topic or theme of this painting it's just me liking fairies. So this piece is called Licky Finger Dude, not on my own volition. So um, this piece has no meaning whatsoever. It's just a commission that I did for an online mutual. This is the only digital piece that I have in the gallery. Um, so my process for um, digital pieces is way different than um, traditional pieces because with digital pieces, you have a lot more to work with. You have like layers that you can delete, you can just erase everything and not like worry about the mistakes that you made. Woohoo! And with this, you can, I kind of broken up the layers a bit. You can see the line art and then me blocking out the colors and the shading and then the rendered process. My plans for the future are still very much unknown, very clouded, because my family is very much into medicine. There are a bunch of doctors and nurses, so I kind of want to follow into their footsteps, and I kind of want to as well. But then art has also really captivated me, and I really want to continue doing, doing it. So it's like thinking about maybe combining the two, perhaps. So whatever um, opportunities come will really change how I would want my um, future to be. If more opportunities come in art, I'll lean into art. But if more opportunities come into like taking medicine, then I'll take medicine. It really comes down to like what's in the moment. My name is Angelica Campbell Elizalde. Um, this was my interview for In Process. The show will go on until August 19th. Please come by and stop by and look at all the cool, amazing artworks. Woohoo! You did it! Yay! Woohoo!